O salutaris hostia, que celi pandis hostium, bella premunt hostia, Almighty and eternal Father, in your goodness, bless and sanctify this image of the divine mercy, your dearly beloved Son, which has been, been fashioned to reveal to us the great love of our crucified and risen Savior, the divine mercy personified. Help us recall to our minds the streams of blood and water that had gushed forth from his pierced heart to be for us a continuous fount of mercy. Grant to all who invoke your mercy with this image before their eyes the grace of true repentance, pardon, and peace. Shield them from every danger to soul and body in this life. Jesus, our loving Savior, establish in this image the throne of your mercy. Pour out upon all of us who approach it with faith and trust the purifying healing and sanctifying rays of grace ever emanating from it as a blazing star. Gaze upon us as you did from the cross with your great love and mercy so that we may be filled with your grace. Through this image, May your divine mercy triumph over all the powers of evil. May all who venerate this image never perish. May it be their joy in life, their hope in death, and their glory in eternity forever and ever. Amen. This we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Prayer of entrustment to the divine mercy. O Lord, our God, we place our trust in you because you are mercy itself. We repent of our sins and turn to you for mercy. We trust you to provide for our every need according to your will. Help us to forgive others as you forgive us. We promise to be merciful by our deeds, words, and prayers. Though we have fears because of human weakness, we rely on your infinite goodness and mercy. We entrust to you the future of our planet, our church, our nations, our families, and all our needs. With loud cries, 
we implore your mercy on us and on the whole world. Look upon us, created in your image and likeness. Form us in the heart of Mary by the power of the Holy Spirit into the living images of mercy. May all come to know the depth of your mercy and sing the praises of your mercy forever. Amen. Prayer to the Divine Mercy O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion. O God, it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out. Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earthly exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you, we implore you, anticipate us with your grace, and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your holy will, all through our life and at death's hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies, that we may with confidence, as your children, await your final coming, that day known to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope through his merciful heart, as through an open gate, we pass through to heaven. Amen. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, 
the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That's a lot easier to do when you're not wearing all these layers, I guess. Before I begin, I want to thank um, all of those who helped to make today possible. It's been a difficult year for all of us. We have those who have been trying to plan and still do things that are important for our church and for our faith. We have those who've been working to organize events like today, those who have been ushering and helping us to see people for almost a year, or actually over a year now. Um, and uh, so I thank them for their efforts and for being here today. I was also told that I only had like three or four minutes, so that doesn't count toward my three or four minutes. So thank you. I have to admit that as someone who was sent for liturgical studies after my ordination and just being a priest that was trying to follow the calendar of the church, there was a time that I didn't get Divine Mercy Sunday. We go through the entirety of the penitential season of Lent through the passion and death of Christ in the Triduum and finally come to the great joy of the resurrection that is the Easter feast. And before the octave of Easter is over, we immediately have this day that to me years ago felt like a re-entering of Lent again as we focus on our sinfulness of our need for repentance in some parts of it. At first to me it seemed like it was a little out of place. I even used to complain about it sometimes. Then I think I started to come to terms with it. And then I began to see the genius that it contained. Of course, we spend today in prayer and the words of the chaplet that we just said together ring out around us. 
Of course, we spend today reflecting on the life of St. Faustina and the visions that she received, as well as, of course, the life of Pope St. John Paul II, who spent much, so much of his life prior to and during his papacy promoting her cause for sainthood and sharing his devotion to divine mercy with the universal church. But the re revelation to me of not just the importance of divine mercy, which I never doubted the need for that, and its place on the calendar, though, was when I started to remember how the church's calendar is meant to both reflect and to instruct the order of our lives, actually, kind of in microcosm. Yes, we spend the season of Lent preparing through the desert experience with Christ to experience Easter. But the reality of the world in which we live and that Jesus lives, dies, and rises in is that while we know that the victory over sin and death has already occurred, until Christ's second coming, the fallen world is still our current home. Sin has been defeated eternally, but in the course of time, it still exists. We are still a fallen and an imperfect people, and while we are each God's individual and unique creations, until the day of judgment and second coming, our path to holiness, to happiness, to eternity, is one that must pass through the mercy and love that comes from the heart of Jesus Christ, that he, the, the mercy and love that he gives to his fallible people. We are in that constant in-between state of having knowledge and joy of the reality of Easter, but also knowledge and sorrow at our sinfulness. And it's only through the mercy of God that we can enter into the true life that is offered to us. Not only that, it's only through our acceptance of the mercy and the love of God, that mercy and love that is gratuitously offered to us by God, and by, that we can begin to free ourselves, that we can begin to free the church, that we can begin to free the world from its slavery to sin and anxiety and fear and live true lives of faith and hope and charity. I've said often, I said it today in all my homilies, I'm going to use it again now, and it's something that I've seen often repeated over the last few days as we prepared for today. And it's the words of the final, I said Angelus, but actually it was the Regina Chaley because it was in uh, the Easter season when this happened. But it was during the final, actually it was meant to be a Regina Chaley reflection given by Pope St. John Paul II, but unfortunately he never had the chance to give it. It was read the week after he died in that Regina Traley audience in St. Peter's Square, in that period of mourning right after his death. And it was a reflection on this feast and on this devotion and on the divine mercy of Christ for us. And he said this, and his words are probably what has moved me more than anything else to understand not only our need for divine mercy, but of the reason we do it right now, that we celebrate it right now. He said this, for he was meant to say this. Divine mercy is a gift to humanity, which sometimes seems bewildered and overwhelmed by the power of evil and selfishness and fear. The risen Lord offers his love that pardons, reconciles and reopens hearts to love. It's a love that converts hearts and gives peace. How much the world needs to understand and to accept divine mercy. Let us prepare now to pray the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. 
the meditations before each decade of the rosary are taken from the reflections of Saint Faustina. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, sweet Mother of God, I model my life on you. You are for me the bright dawn. O oh, Mother, Immaculate Virgin, you, the divine ray, is reflected. Miss storms, tis you who teach me to love the Lord, O oh, my shield and defense from the foe. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead and ascended into heaven. Seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For all souls, that they may seek, come to know, and receive the divine mercy of our divine Savior, Jesus Christ. Our, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of Jesus. Today, during the Mass of the Resurrection, I saw the Lord Jesus in the midst of a great light. He approached me and said, Peace be to you, my children. And he lifted up his hand and gave his blessing. The wounds in his hands, feet, and side were indelible and shining. When he looked at me with such kindness and love, my whole soul drowned itself in him. And he said to me, you have taken a great part in my passion. Therefore, I now give you a great share in my joy and glory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of Jesus into heaven. Today I accompanied the Lord Jesus as he ascended into heaven. Then I saw myself in the midst of a huge crowd of disciples and apostles together with the mother of God. Jesus was telling them to go out into the world and teach in my name. He stretched out his hands and blessed them and disappeared in a cloud. I saw the longing of Our Lady Her soul yearned for Jesus with the whole force of her love. But she was so peaceful and so united to the will of God that there was not a stir in her heart but for what God wanted. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. I am reliving those moments with Our Lady. With great longing, I am waiting for the Lord's coming. Great are my desires. I desire that all mankind come to know the Lord. I would like to prepare all nations for the coming of the Word incarnate. O oh Jesus, make the font of your mercy gush forth more abundantly, for all mankind is seriously ill. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into heaven, but the us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Oh, oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy name. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. During meditations, God's presence pervaded me keenly, and I was aware of the Virgin Mary's joy at the moment of her Assumption. I remained alone with the Most Holy Mother, who instructed me about the will of God and how to apply it to my life, submitting completely to his most holy degrees. She said, the soul's true greatness is in loving God and in humbling oneself in his presence, completely forgetting oneself and believing oneself to be nothing. Because the Lord is great, but he is well pleased only with the humble and he always opposes the proud. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us day, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of God, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. From the early morning, I felt the nearness of the Blessed Mother. During Holy Mass, I saw her, so lovely and so beautiful that I have no words to express even a small part of the beauty. She was all in white with a blue sash around her waist. Her cloak was also blue and there was a crown on her head. Marvelous light streamed from, forth from her whole figure. She said these words, I am the queen of heaven and earth, but especially the mother of your congregation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is my world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Conclusion of the Holy Rosary of the Glorious Mysteries. Mary, Immaculate Virgin, take me under your special protection and guard the purity of my soul, my heart, and body. 
You are the model and star of my life. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, in the name of the the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us. St. Michael's Prayer. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayers for our Holy Father's intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Tantum ergo sacramentum, venere mor cernui, et anticum documentum, novo cetat ritui, preste fide Supplementum sensum defect to we genitori genitorque lasset jubilatio. Abutroque comparsit laudatio. Amen. Sweetness, Alleluia. Lord Jesus Christ, 
Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. the loud celestial hymn, angel choirs above are raising, cherubim and seraphim, in unceasing chorus praising, Yeah.